So I'm Isaac Atchison, and I'm here to introduce, introduce? Uh, Angelo Sylvester. All right, so how would you like students to refer to you as? Uh, you can call me Mr. Sylvester, or any nickname is fine. Sometimes a student will call me Sly or anything else. That's, cool. That'll be fine. Uh, what is some basic information about yourself? Uh, what's your experience teaching? Uh, what college you go to? High school? Uh, hobbies? That kind of thing. Sure. Uh, so I'm from Northeast Ohio. Grew up in a little town called Louisville. Uh, it's one of those like one stoplight farm towns in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, but there I was always in band and choir through all my years oh, in okay. school and I really loved them both. Um, I ultimately ended up going to Ohio University mm -hmm. in Athens, Ohio where I did my degree in music education. Loved every second of it there. Um, really, really fell in love with singing. I started doing my degree uh, playing the tuba and I oh. finished my degree playing tuba. Um, but I fell in love with singing in my time there and so that really helped me want to become a choir director. Um, after that, I moved abroad. I lived in Malaysia for a year where I was teaching. And when I came back from Malaysia, I had no job <laughs> and I knew I wanted to teach and I, could, I was certified to teach in the state of Ohio. So I took a job here in Cincinnati and I've been in Cincinnati now for eight years and I've been choir directing the entire time. Where, where did you teach here in Indiana, or in Cincinnati? Um, I started with the Cincinnati Boy Choir and LaSalle High School and then most recently I was at St. Xavier High School for a little while and coming up I'll be here at Indian Hill. Awesome. Uh, what inspired you to be a choir teacher and why did you choose to move, make the move to Indian Hill? I wanted to be a choir teacher because I found that singing is one of the most authentic forms of art making. Um, I mentioned I was an instrumentalist mm -hmm. and making music with instruments is also wonderful and valuable in its own right. But there's something so raw and exposing about using the human voice in order to make art. Um, and I really fell in love with um, how we can make art with just our bodies mm -hmm. and singing to do it. Um, and I wanted to be a choir teacher because I had inspirational teachers of my own and I wanted to help other people kind of find their love for making music in that same way. That's awesome. Here at Indian Hill, I've, I've really known and as being a student that our teachers really love to push that kind of envelope and really push our students to find that true, true yeah. thing. Um, and that's exactly why I wanted to come here to Indian Hill. You know, um, Indian Hill has a great reputation for strong arts programs and starts strong programs across the gamut of everything um, that is done in this building. And so it's a huge draw to come be a part of that and see if we can take it further or, or how we can develop that. For sure. Uh, what do you believe are, are the most important qualities for a choir teacher to possess and how do you exemplify those qualities in your teaching practice? That is a good question. The most important qualities for a choir teacher to possess. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say first and foremost kindness and care, um, making sure that everybody in the space, in the classroom that wants to make music is comfortable and happy to be there and feels a part of the family. If you aren't glad to be in that space, you're not going to make any mm -hmm. quality music. So. Um, I like to get to know each of my students as an individual. Mm -hmm. Sometimes ensemble music making, you can start to feel like a number because you're a part of a crowd. And that's mm -hmm. one of the beauties of it is that, you know, there's all of these people in one space working towards a common goal, but it's not just numbers. Every student is a different person. And so getting to know all of my students individually so that they know that I love them and that I care for them mm -hmm. and that I am committed to their betterment. And then, after that, we insist on musical excellence. I know you and you're important, and now sing the right note. And, <laughs> and then we work from there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so collaboration with other music teachers and staff members can enhance the overall music program. How do you envision working with colleagues to support student learning and performances? I love this question because I have gotten to meet the different music teachers here over the past month or so and I am so excited to get to know them further and to make music with them and to make art with them in all of its different forms. Um, sometimes we will just be us singing but there's countless amazing pieces that are instruments and singers combined. There is singing and dancing and Art is inherently collaborative. Um, no matter what we're working towards, there is a way to connect. And so I look forward to really connecting with um, the other teachers here and figuring out ways that we aren't just making art in a silo in our classrooms, but we are finding ways to do it together, whether that's mixing instruments and voice or dance and voice or and, and, mm -hmm. you know, the opportunities are endless. Awesome. Uh, what goals do you have for the choir program, long term and short term? Um, when I was interviewing to, to take this job, 
this question sort of came up, and I think I mentioned something along the lines of, I felt like Indian Hills Choir has been one of the city's best kept secrets. You know, it was such a phenomenal program, um, and it is and has always been a phenomenal program, but for here in Indian Hill, how can we get the, the notoriety and accomplishments of this choral program mm -hmm. to reach far and wide Cincinnati, Ohio, and beyond, mm -hmm. right? I know the choir has taken some really accomplished tours in recent history, um, and I think expanding upon that so that we are not only having musical excellence in this building, but that people are aware of what we're doing and um, getting our art out there to share with the community far beyond, mm -hmm. um, you know, just the high school. Cool. Are you looking forward to being the vocal director for next year's Winter Musical? Yes. Um, I am really excited to be the vocal director for any musical that happens here. I love choral singing because it is a very particular form of art making, mm -hmm. but engaging with musicals give us, gives us the opportunity to do more contemporary style singing, and that excites me a lot. Do you have a message that you would like to share with your future students in the Indian Hill? Indian Hill student body as a whole. Yeah, I would love to share something. Um, students, I assure you that no matter what you believe about yourself, you can sing. Um, the number one thing that I hear from students is, oh, choir is really cool, but I can't sing, or oh, my mom tells me I can't match pitch, or whatever it could be. Yes, you can. Every single person is born onto this planet with the ability to make quality art. There are studies that show that we sing before we speak, and if you have even this much interest in singing, you should do it, because it's an incredible experience, uh, and you are welcome in my classroom at any time. All in that same line, do you have a message you would like to share with your future colleagues here at Indian Hill? Sure. Um, and to my colleagues, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better and how we can make art together and continue to serve our students in the best way possible. Thank you very much for joining me for this interview. Hope you yeah. have a good time here. Thanks for having me.